Hi guys, uh, today is March 5th, 2015, <laughs> sorry, 2020, <laughs> if it wouldn't 2015 I would have been 5 years younger, <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. Anyway, I have this uh, little device that uh, my cousin made, uh, he made one for himself, he made one for me. So, everybody use something different. I like to use the real wax. I'm not sold on that uh, plastic thing. I mean, I have a couple of them on my honey supers, but I, it seems like the, like the bees, they, they, they like the regular wax. So anyway, uh, you know, when you buy your equipment and stuff like this and you try, you have your first hive and stuff like that and that G, you know, some things I can build. So, you know, obviously you can build your bottom board and your inner cover and the deep box and then the, and the other uh, honey supers. But as it goes with the frames, I mean, it's just too much work. Too much work and they're not that expensive. You know, it's made by machine. Everything is perfect. Boom, boom, boom. You just put it together, put the wax, slap it in, and then it comes the wire. So obviously you, you thread the wire through your frames back and forth. Then you use the tensioner to put some tension on the wire so it's nice and uh, strong uh, right against the wax so when we start doing this we start watching video videos on YouTube and uh, you know people use all different stuff they use car batteries uh, they use uh, you know regular 12 volt batteries and basically what they do uh, when this laying flat they attach it over here and they attach it somewhere over here and makes a spark so basically you send a current through the wire to heat it up so eventually it would uh, become inside of the wax. So uh, uh, my cousin a genius, <laughs> not about love for you Robert, uh, he came up with this idea and the idea was to uh, try to control the current try to uh, uh, basically not to put too much current. If you put too much current then the wax will melt and the wire will come to the other side. Or basically you're gonna send too much current and the wire is just gonna break because it's very thin. So uh, I'm gonna pick up the camera. I'm just gonna uh, show you this. I'm gonna show you this and uh, then I'll demonstrate how it works, you know. So, uh, give me one second. Let me just disconnect this. <coughs> As you can see, we have a uh, power supplies. We connect it to the wall. Uh, over here, this is just the button. When you press this, that's when the current goes through those two two wires that you see over here and that uh, you know the whole device that's put together that's the whole thing that makes it uh, makes it happen um, over here as you can see that the board has notches on it because underneath there's a little piece of paper to make this one by a little bit only like a hump so when you put that uh, your frame in you want that wax to kind of press on that board that helps you to melt the wires uh, and the lines that you see over here that's uh, you know not watching your kids when you're not around <laughs> so which is a good thing um, so let me turn this in put that in first it doesn't matter which one you do it, but you can see that this will start. And uh, 
once you uh, press this thing it will give you how many seconds basically this thing runs and stops you press it again it goes and it stops so as you can see let me show you this the frame you can see the wire so it's not embedded I just run it through put some tension on it so you can see both sides see that so I'm gonna put the camera right here maybe a little bit closer to this so you can uh, see what I'm gonna be doing so basically on the side of the frame you have those little pins over there where the wire goes through so you don't basically this is just to uh, not to have that wire embedded in your wood uh, so you take the frame, you put it down, you take one end, put it right here, take this end, you put it right here, and then you press it. When you press it, you can just, with your fingers, just gently touch it. Boom. And some spots, if it the wax didn't sit all the way through just wait a couple seconds because this is not in all the way I'll press that again and I will just hold this spot that's it then we move to the other one we put this right here we put this right here we'll press it and gently with your fingers just touch the wire so it sits the current just stopped boom so as you can see I'm gonna pick up the camera again as you can see that wire is melted inside of the wax it doesn't burn the wire doesn't burn the wax so then you take this take that off you want to flip it over do your other sides press in press that and it's you know 21st century so we have to be up with the technology <laughs> you press this again you just gently touch the wire so it can get embedded and boom that's it take it over here move that put that over here press that just gently touch the wire hold it for one second that's it so Again, if you look at the wire, it's ni nice melted inside. And that's it. That's the, uh, that's the whole thing. You know? And, you know, once you do your frames and stuff like that, put your wires, you do your wires, you put your tensions on, put those away, and then you can just do this. So... You know, roughly, normally when I do this, it's, it's really quick. It's, you know, and, and the wire is there. It's between the wax, so now the bees can use those spots where the wax is. Because if, if there's anything that's sticking out, then, then the bees won't build around that. So, uh, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you like that. You know, it looks like out of the cosmos. <laughs> okay, again. Cheers. Thanks for watching.